Okay, so hey. <clears throat> Today we are reviewing Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. And wrote my review. Let me summary. Um, it's been five years since me and Bren murdered Summer Marks, their best friend in the woods. At least that's what everyone thinks. These three girls were best friends, but by the time they all turned 13, Summer was murdered. The girls obsessed were obsessed with this book called The Way Into Lovelorn by Georgia C. Wells. They pretended to go to Lovelorn, act things out, be the characters, even begin writing their own sequel as a fan fiction. But one day when Mia and Bryn were going to their hideout to meet Summer, they instead found her dead in a field not far from their hideout. Everyone in town thought Mia, Brent, and Summer's boyfriend, Owen, had killed her. But the thing is, they didn't. For five years, everyone in the town thought this. On the anniversary of Summer's death, events and clues pull Mia and Brynn back together to find the truth about Summer's death. So, first, like, disclaimer here. It is a teen book. Because, I mean, like, older teen, maybe. Because it's got some adult language and inappropriate stuff kind of and there's also a lesbian girl which that is Bryn and talks about stuff like that so it's a teen book book itself was actually pretty good but in like the first little bit when I read it it was not necessarily dull but very slow paced wasn't interesting until like a few chapters in I guess but that's like how most books go except some books are just like yes <laughs> yeah I got that and then also the book goes back and forth between characters and time frames basically I guess you could say because it goes back and forth between Bryn and it says now and then it goes to Mia, and it says now. But then sometimes it says then, when they were 13 or 12, around that time frame when Summer was alive. Or when they were being questioned by the police. Stuff like that. It goes back and forth. It's a murder mystery, I guess you could say, with a little bit, like a little touch of romance. Not a lot, like it's the big thing, but it is in there. And I'd like to say that the book that they are obsessed with, The Way Into Lovelorn, and the author that it says, Georgia C. Wells, is a fake book. Lauren Oliver created that book for this story, and it is not real. And the reason they're obsessed with it is because the book they're obsessed with ends in the middle of a sentence. And they don't know why. They have all these theories about what would have happened, which reminds me a lot of an imperial affliction in The Fault in Our Stars, because that's what Hazel Grace was talking about, is it ends in the middle of a sentence because the girl in it was either too sick to keep writing or died abruptly and couldn't continue writing and nobody else and so she was questioning all about the other characters in the book about what happened to them well in here it just ends abruptly there's no reason why is that the girls are obsessed with this book and so they created their own story after and they put things from real life in it and it talks about how Authors sometimes actually put things from their life or themselves in their stories and people just wouldn't know. It could just be a total mystery unless you just talk to the author themselves, which is pretty interesting. <clears throat> so she has written some other books, which one's trilogy she's written I really, really want. But she has also written, uh, where is it at? It's hiding from me. Before I Fall, it's got the same bookmark I use for broken things, but yeah. And this one is about a girl who 
dies in like a car crash and relives it for like an entire week goes through the whole thing over and over again i don't know exactly why i have not read it yet that's why it's over here in these books because these are books i have not read yet and then there's also this the trilogy that i really want it's delirium pandemonium and requiem it is about a world where love is considered a disease and you're given a cure for it at 18. next book that i'm going to be doing that's on my list is a very large expanse of sea i still have not figured out how to say her name because it's kind of strange and so i'm going to figure that out but she has also written a very long series called shatter me and it's about a girl with a killing touch which i really want that but this is a romance so i read this in one night from midnight till 5 a.m. during the summer. <laughs> There's the fact that this keeps changing with more books and books are missing is because I am ran out of space. I don't know if I said that, but I did. And so I've moved it to a different part of my room, put like a picture of like all the other books right here or something. But yeah, ran out of space. So they're just somewhere else. That is all for today. Fly you high overlanders.